Well, Tommy, uh, sad news for everyone at the club, fans and all the people associated with the club that uh, you've had to take the decision to retire from the uh, the game as a player. Uh, what are your reasons behind that? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's it's disappointing for me. Uh, it's been a tough few months since I, I, I returned to training uh, in pre-season and uh, I decided, I've, I've decided to, to call uh, time on my career and I think uh, it, it's, it's due to a number of reasons but the, the main reason being just the amount of pain uh, that uh, my shoulder's causing me uh, on a daily basis and uh, I think that's started to, to creep into my everyday life as well which is something I've not experienced uh, before in my career and, uh, and so ma mainly that in combination with a couple of other things uh, I think it, it was probably my only option which is which is a shame. How difficult has the decision been for you? I, th I think the actual decision w was quite easy uh, when, when I listened to my body and, and, and things like that but the process of getting to this point has been tough. Uh, it's probably a decision I should have made in the summer, but I wanted to give to give it one more go. You know, see how I, I reacted getting out on the training pitch and and back playing games. And you know, I, I got to that point. I got back out on the field, which I wanted to do. But I think uh, the the way my body was feeling, uh, it just it wasn't sustainable. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, I I have to think about the future. Uh, and what my life's going to be like after football, and you know it's difficult for me uh, to to retire. But like I've said, it, it's my only option. I know you considered retirement as a possibility in the summer, but the fact that you've uh, given it a go and you've you've actually given it your best shot to to come out and, and play again, at least you're not left with any lingering doubts about what might have been. Yeah, and I think that was important that I did that. Uh, I think the, the writing was probably on the wall after after my, my third operation, uh, just the information I was getting from the surgeon and, and whatnot, it was always going to be a struggle to get, to get back out there and I'm probably a victim of my own stoicism if you like in that I've, I've got on with it and I've probably not been honest with myself and listened to my body as much as I should have done. Uh, but like I say, I'm, I'm comfortable with the decision I've made now, as difficult as it has been getting to this point. If I'm totally honest with myself, it's the right decision. And this club has been a massive part of your life. You've been here for a decade. So how do you reflect on your time here with Chesterfield? Well, like I say, it has been a part of my life and it's been a, a brilliant part of my life. It's, if you like, the football clubs gave me a chance at a career because I left Macclesfield. I was released from Macclesfield uh, and I was a little bit disillusioned. Uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to carry on. I came down, I got the opportunity to play a couple of uh, trial games, the, the club signed me and I suppose since then it's been it's been unbelievable, it's been more than I expected from my career t to win the trophies that we've won and, and and play at Wembley a couple of times and just some of the experiences have been fabulous but one of the main the main things that I'll take from my time at Chesterfield is the relationship I've had with the fans, you know from day one they've been uh, unbelievable and and I just want to go on record see how grateful I am to them for making my time at the club so special. You've won the uh, League Two twice, you've been part of a, a Johnston's Paint Trophy winning side, so difficult to pick uh, uh, the outstanding sort of highlight from your time. Is there one particular uh, moment from your career at Chesterfield that stands out above all the rest? Uh, I think the Johnson's Paint final at Wembley was was something really special to 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 win at Wembley uh, in front of twenty thousand Chesterfield fans, and I remember uh, walking out for the warm up uh, at the stadium that day, and 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 the fans uh, give me a little ovation onto the pitch, and it's probably one of the only times I've got shivers down my spine walking on a football pitch, and that's something that'll stick with me, and you know it's disappointing that I'm not going to experience that again, but. Uh, I'm grateful that I have experienced it at the football club and it's something I'll always remember. Now you've made over 300 appearances for the club so you can be proud of that. The fact that you uh, have gone down in history, you know, you look at the, the list of uh, appearance makers for the club and, and you know, 300 and odd appearances, uh, that's something you can uh, reflect on in future years. No, definitely and at the minute it's, it's difficult because, 
you know you're a professional footballer uh, you want to play for as long as possible but yeah I mean I've I've been fortunate enough and and, that, and that's thanks to the managers at the club and, and the staff who I've worked with over the years uh, I've always had a fantastic relationship with with all of those people and you know I'm, I'm indebted to them for giving me the opportunity to play football for for such a long time and play so many games. Well, Tom, I understand that you have been offered a, a testimonial match in recognition of your loyal service to the club. I suppose it's early days, really, to uh, think about that, but it uh, would be a good way for fans to uh, show their appreciation for you. No, absolutely, and uh, I think the club, uh, since since I made the decision, have been fantastic. You know, I've spoken to Ashley Carson a number of times, and and Jack uh, and, and they were understanding of the situation I was in and they made a difficult time a lot easier so I appreciate that and, and, and then uh, to be given the opportunity to, to, to have a testimonial uh, is definitely something I appreciate and like you say it'll be a chance for me to, to show my appreciation to the fans for, for all the support I've had over the years and, and hopefully that's something we can, we can get sorted going forward. So what does the future hold for you now? Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm probably, I'm probably going to take a few weeks to, to think about uh, the next step. I'm definitely going to try and stay in football. I'm going to do my coaching badges, uh, my goalkeeper badges and, and, and see where that takes me. Uh, but I think I think the next month or so will just be probably a time of reflecting on 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 the future and, and, and see where I want to go next. And no doubt you'll be keeping uh, a keen eye on developments here at the club? No, absolutely I am. I'm, I'm a massive fan of the football club. It, it's part of my life, and it will be uh, forever, I suppose. Uh, I wanted uh, to to do my best for the club. Unfortunately, I can no longer do that. So, uh, yeah, that it's a dec decision I've made. But I'm sure with the manager that that's in place now, uh, the club's going to go in the right direction. And of course, uh, we will. Uh no doubt see you here down at the Pro Act, uh, you know, so it's not the last we'll see of you here. Apart from the testimonial match, you'll be coming along and I'm, I'm sure that you'll receive a, a great reception whenever you uh, come back to the club from the fans. No, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll always I'll try and get to as many games as possible and, you know, the, the gaffer's uh, given me the opportunity to, to come in and coach the kids now and again while I'm doing my licences, which, which, uh, which I appreciate. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to be about the place, unfortunately. I'm not, I'm not going to be out on the pitch. On behalf of everyone at the club, Tommy, um, you know, I'd like to, to wish you uh, all the very best for the future. Thanks for everything you've done for the club, and uh, we'll see you soon. No, thank you, and and again, uh, thank you to Chesterfield, and thanks to the fans. Uh, the fans of the last the last ten or so seasons have been a lot more than I could have ever envisaged when I when I signed for the club. So, you know, uh, you know, thank you.